The Space Launch Initiative was a NASA and U.S. Department of Defense joint research and technology project to determine the requirements to meet all the nation's hypersonics, space launch and space technology needs. It was also known as the Second Generation Reusable Launch Vehicle RLV program. The program began with the award of reusable launch vehicle study contracts in 2000. The primary goal of this research was to increase safety and reliability and to reduce overall costs associated with building, flying and maintaining the nation's next generation of space launch vehicles. NASA anticipated that these advances would revitalize the nation's space transportation capabilities, and dramatically improve NASA's ability to conduct science and exploration missions in space. This program was ended with the cancellation of the X-33 and X-34 in 2001 along with the conclusion of the X-43 program. In November 2002 it was evolved into the Orbital Space Plane Program and the Next Generation Launch Technology Program. Around 2004 NASA changed its focus to Constellation Program, as part of the vision for space exploration. The Space Launch Initiative Propulsion Office, managed by NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, sought to advance technologies and explore new avenues of space propulsion to develop safer, more reliable and affordable propulsion solutions. Four main engine candidates for a second-generation reusable launch vehicle emerged, including two hydrogen-fueled Cobra, minus 83 rupees, TR-106, and two kerosene-fueled, minus 84 rupees, TR-107, staged combustion cycle engines. Topic Cobra rocket engine co-optimized booster for reusable applications. Propulsion system proposed by Pratt & Whitney Aerojet Propulsion Associates to cover a wide range of thrust. This LH-2, LOX reusable rocket engine was designed in 2003 to produce 4,500 kN thrust. Proposed as a long-life, moderate-to-high thrust, reusable booster engine that incorporated a safe, low-cost, low-risk, LH-2, LOX single burner, using a fuel-rich, staged combustion cycle. Topic. Minus 83 rupees rocket engine The minus 83 rupees was a rocket engine design for a reusable LH-2, LOX rocket larger and more powerful than any other. The minus 83 rupees was developed by Rocketdyne Propulsion and Power in Canoga Park, California to power the launch vehicle as part of the Space Launch Initiative program. This engine was designed to produce a thrust of 664,000 lbf 2950 kilonewtons at sea level and 750,000 lbf 3300 kilonewtons in a vacuum with an ISP of 395 and 446 seconds 3.87 and 4.37 kilonewtons s per kilogram respectively the minus 83 rupees is loosely based on the minus 68 rupees that powers the delta 4 expendable launch vehicle. The minus 83 rupees design is more efficient, lighter, slightly stronger, and yet reusable. The minus 83 rupees was designed to last 100 missions, and was intended for use on the first stage of a two-stage to orbit reusable launch vehicle. Topic. Minus 84 rupees rocket engine As part of the Space Launch Initiative, Rocketdyne developed a plan for the minus 84 rupees rocket engine. It would have been the first reusable, staged combustion cycle, liquid rocket engine produced by the U.S. to use a hydrocarbon fuel. In contrast, the Soviet Union developed the Rode 170 reusable staged combustion hydrocarbon engine for the Energia rocket in the 1980s. The prototype engine would have 4,732 kN 1,064,000 lbf at sea level, 5,026 kN 1,130,000 lbf in vacuum, an 8-shift turn time, a specific impulse of 305 at sea level and 324 in vacuum. NASA cancelled further development in 2005. Topic. TR-106, TR-107 rocket engines 
The TR-106 or low-cost Pintle engine was a developmental LH-2, LOX rocket engine designed by TRW under the Space Launch Initiative. It had a planned sea level thrust of 650,000 lbf. It was tested at NASA John C. Stennis Space Center throughout 2000. The Stennis test stand results demonstrated that the engine was stable over a wide variety of thrust levels and propellant ratios. Development of the engine was temporarily discontinued with the cancellation of the Space Launch Initiative. Since 2000, TRW has been acquired by Northrop Grumman and development of the TR-107 RP-1, LOX rocket engine began in 2001 for potential use on next-generation launch and space transportation vehicles as continuing under contract to NASA. Technology lessons from the low-cost Pintle engine project assisted subcontractor development of engines by SpaceX. Topic. Air Force Reusable Booster Program The Air Force Reusable Booster System Program initiated in 2010 was hoped to renew interest in further development of these engines. Topic. See also List of Space Launch System Designs TR-106 low-cost Pintle engine LPCE using LOX, LH-2 developed by TRW in 2000 TR-107 LOX, RP-1 engine developed in 2002